This guest is a longtime friend of President Trump for more than 35 years. He's very active in fundraising for the president now and in 2016. Howard Lorber is executive chairman of Douglas Element and a founder and CEO of the Vector Group. And Howard, you are, we're coming in and we're still going to talk about real estate. Uh, but first, just your comments. Uh, hear about your relationship with the president and your thoughts uh, on the news that, uh, that broke overnight. Well, I uh, know that COVID has no bounds. So I'm praying for the president and the first lady to make a, a speedy recovery. And it just knowing that the, we were just talking about potentially the president tweeting today, would you imagine if he's feeling pretty good that, that he'll be engaged like he always is? Or will quarantine just mean a, uh, probably that, that you know, we're not going to hear much out of, out of uh, uh, the White House for a couple of days? No, I don't, I don't think that'll change. I think he'll do what he normally does every day and uh, be at work and do the best he believes he could do. The best he can do. All right. Um, in, in terms of what we, the markets have been reacting to this week, and, and that is uh, stimulus, as a real estate guy, are, are you hoping that the two sides are able to come together at some point, in, in whether it's at uh, you know, $1.5 trillion, $2.3 trillion, whatever it is, do you, are you hopeful and, and are you optimistic? Yeah, I'm hopeful. Look, I don't think it has anything to do with being a real estate guy. I think just as, as a human being and caring about uh, people having jobs, being able to live, being able to pay their bills, I think uh, we need additional stimulus. And I was never really worried too much about deficits. They generally seem to take care of themselves at some point. And we're in such a low interest rate environment, it's not that harmful. So I, I'm hoping for a uh, deal on the stimulus package. I think it'll be... Uh, I think it's important, and I think it will really spur spur the economy at this point. Andrew, you have a question? Howard, I, I just thinking as an old friend of, of President Trump's, if you could sort of take us inside his mind uh, to some extent politically, uh, he has always been quite clever uh, about how to take uh, even bad situations and try to turn them into positive situations. Um, how do you think he might try to do that in this instance? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. Uh, he's going to do what he normally does. What's in his mind is in his mind. And uh, generally, you, you're not going to know about it until he does it uh, or says it. And um, I think he does what he thinks is the right thing to do. Uh, but I have no real view. Howard, as do you think this... Howard, do you think this changes the perception among any of his supporters uh, about how he's approached the issue of, uh, of COVID, uh, given, you know, his comments just at this past debate uh, about Biden using masks and, and effectively making fun of him for, for using masks. Does it, do you think there are any supporters that will turn away from him because of what's happened here? I, 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 I doubt it, but, uh, you know, I really have no knowledge what someone else is going to do. Do you think... Um, I, I mean, it, I, I tried, you tried, Andrew. I don't think we're going to get much here on, on the personal stuff uh, from, from Howard, which is fine. In terms of New York real estate, Howard, and, and, and big city real estate, I, I, mean, I know that I've uh, heard anecdotally that it's pretty crowded trying to get into the city. I can't, New York City, I can't tell whether that's because no one's taking mass transit and everybody's driving because they're afraid of mass transit, or whether you actually are seeing a return to some sense of normalcy uh, in, in New York City. What, what do you think? Is, is there a future? Do we have a future? Yeah, we definitely have a future. You know, as I said, I think last time I was on there, you know, uh, New York City is not dead. Uh, maybe it was in a temporary coma, and I think it's coming out of that. But yes, there is traffic. There is, there are people around. Um, and the real estate market has picked up. As September, we, this September versus 19 was the strongest September in sales. And at all points, not just the one to two million points that we talked about uh, last time I was on, but also on the high end. In the last few weeks, we have about five or six contracts um, over $20 million. Um, most of them happen to be downtown, you know, at this point, uh, which is interesting. But we've had a couple of $30 million deals, a couple of $20 million deals. So things have really, uh, have really picked up. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.